Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking on the epic task on making my very own glider bomb. Now if you don't know what one of those are, it's essentially the clue is in the name. It's a bomb that kind of glides down to its target without really using any form of propulsion and that really allows it to have like long range and uh, yeah. So dropping one of those from a jet would be really cool. However, I do need to design this bomb. So let's get to it. Okay, so the plan is to make a pretty reasonable sized bomb that can kind of just fold out some wings so let me get some wings down really quick now i do want my uh bomb to have a centerpiece so it's going to be odd width and i'm already getting my wings in place i'm getting some hinges down too because yeah they need to fold out and i think this gliding bomb needs some copious amounts of dynamite you know <laughs> Now, thankfully, I don't really need to put like any weight in the nose or anything because these dynamites, they weigh a little bit more than the regular blocks. So that should help it kind of have that weight for the momentum of gravity and gliding and all the physics needed for this to work. Okay, looking good so far. Um, I'm just working on the rear end of this glider bomb now. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for the bomb. Well, the shape of it. I still need to do all the logic to make this thing work. But as you can see, there's hinges because I kind of want the tail fins to kind of just make like an X formation as well as the wings opening. Okay, there you go. That's a better example. I've actually got it working now with the, well, a distance sensor. And yeah, so the wings are spread out and the tail fins are now open and it should, theoretically, depending on how I built this, glide down. Am I able to like drop this? I feel like I can just drop this from the build mode. <laughs> okay, I have moved the gliding bomb here in the build mode. We're going to drop it off the cliff. Let's see what happens. Okay, it went down a lot more than I would like it of to gone down. Like it was too steep of an angle, that's what I'm trying to say. Now there are ways to fix this, and that is sacrificing some weight. So I'm gonna have to lose some dynamite, unfortunately. Okay, going in for the second test. Let's drop it off the cliff. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> it's still having the same effect, really. Too steep of an angle. I am going to try a angle sensor. Okay, I'm about to release it. Here we go. <laughs> you know what? Let's just stick this on a plane. I have a plane ready here. This is my F-22. All right, there we go. It's attached to the bottom of my F-22. All right, let's drop it. No! <laughs> I hate that. When you use distance sensors, things break very easily. So the wings did not deploy there. It stopped working. All right, now it actually should work. Dropping the bomb. I mean, the wings opened. It's spinning out of control. Oh no, I can see the problem. Can you see like the flaps there, guys? Hopefully it lands in the uh, in the ocean here. If it lands in this little pond, the problem is now you see the flaps. They're completely broken. They're in a 90 degree position. They're not even set to 90 degrees in the configuration menu. Now that is definitely a problem. Well, it's nothing a bit of logic can't fix. This is what it's all about, right? Testing, trial and error. Okay, time to drop the bomb. It's kind of working. It's actually kind of working. And you couldn't see it there because it landed behind a tree, but it exploded. You could hear the sound of it exploding. Right, well, at least we're inching closer to the final product. All right. Dropping the gliding bomb. The wings are opening. It kind of looks like a UAV, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's actually gliding. Wow. I should probably add a altitude sensor to that so it explodes on the impact of the ocean too. Okay guys, so I've done some more checks to this gliding bomb and it turns out the flaps were not engaging. Nothing was actually happening because I had messed up something in the logic. However, now it should actually work. It should keep the bomb level. Let me demonstrate. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dropping the payload. There we go. I mean, yeah, there you go. It's <laughs> it's spinning around because I dropped it wonky. It's genuinely gliding. 
Nice. I'm so happy that's actually working. All right, well, I think the gliding bomb here is optimized as much as it can be. I think I'm going to give this thing a paint job and we can do some real tests. Well, here she is, guys. Here's a pretty simple paint job here. We've gone for a like red and black tone here with a yellow cone on the end. But yeah, this is its folding mode. And then this is its open mode. And you can get a really nice clear view on what's going on here. I've also added a uh, like a vertical stabilizer in the back here because it's it has this bomb has a problem. It doesn't stay straight. If, if you drop it kind of tilted, it will kind of glide off to that side, which is the only problem and the only downside to this. I mean, there are ways to stabilize this and to get it to auto-correct itself. However, that will make the build way more bigger and way more chunky. And it's just a lot more work in general. So let's do some real tests here. Let's hit some targets on the ground. Or at least try to. <laughs> Okay, so there's a bunch of ramps over here. If I can hit one of these ramps, I'm going to be very happy. Okay, three, two, one, dropping the glider bomb. There it goes. I'm going to try and stay with it so you guys can see. Oh, wow, it's, it's going way over the target destination. It has crazy range. Look at it go. Oh, wait a minute. Hit the... Yes! <laughs> we hit the ramp. Nice. Okay, well, now I actually do want to test what happens if I drop this thing vertically now. Now that everything is actually working. Okay, here we go. Going down. Wings are opening up. And it's pulling up. The bomb is actually pulling up. I lost it. I lost fish. I heard the explosion. <laughs> I lost visual there for a second. Okay, our next target is that, like, very lonesome island over there. So I think now should be an appropriate time to drop it. It's very hard to estimate with this thing. So off it goes, a little speck. Oh, it's going way over. Yeah, I feel like it's going way over the island. Hold on, never mind. Okay, well, I've missed the island. But like, I wasn't too far off right there. It's very intimidating having this thing on an F-22. <laughs> okay, the next target is that little, uh, the little pocket of water right there. Dropping the payload. Okay, that was a little bit off. No, you see what I mean? See how I didn't drop that level and it turned to the right? Oh, there it is. It's going to the swamp. Yeah, so now it's on like a gliding path of just turning to the right. They're completely way off the target. There it is. There it explodes. I just have to keep this thing level. It's not easy. This thing is very sensitive. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty level. Let's hop out. And no, <laughs> glided to the right. I mean, hey, can we hit those blue back? It's a lot of getting used to, but I definitely feel like I do need some genuine targets. So we're going to head over to the airborne map. All right. So I have just loaded into the airborne um, map here. So there's loads of pirate enemies we can take on. Let's bring out the F-22 with the gliding bomb. And the goal here is to blow up a few targets. Who knows what we're going to go for first. I feel like a big target would be nice. There is a big red balloon, I believe, over here. Yeah, there we go. I see it in the distance. If I can hit that midair, that would be incredible. All right, okay. Coming up to the target. Dropping the payload. No, 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 no. I feel like that was way too early. We're losing too much altitude on the bomb. And it's turning away. It's definitely a lot of practice. Get out of my way, pirate! Okay, so there is loads of flight cannons in Maze Valley. Those are good targets. Drop in the payload. Gliding bomb is away. It's hard to see. There's so much going on. Oh, oh, there's the explosion. It was very close, actually. All right, gliding bomb away. Oh, no. That, oh, no. I tilted the plane. Complete miss. We're sneaking up on one. Here he is. No, it flew right over. I should probably mention that how these glider bombs actually work in real life, they use like a bunch of navigating GPS systems to kind of readjust themselves and everything. Yeah, that's just too complicated to do in Trailmakers. So I am clearly missing all of my approaches here. So practical in real life, not very practical in this game, at least not my version. Surely one of you guys can make a better version than mine. But I think the last plan here, the final alternative, is to go as high as I can and see how far this thing can glide. Well, I say this is a pretty reasonable height. Let's drop the payload. There we go. 
And we're just going to try and glide alongside it. This is a great way for me to keep a track on the bomb with this um, aim assist. <laughs> oh, it's going to the pirate mothership, I think. Wow, look at it go, though. So graceful. Feels like I'm flying alongside a UAV. It'll be a miracle if this thing hits something. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of just looks like it's going off into the abyss of the clouds. Whoa, that jet just flew past. Well, there it goes, guys. That was a very long flight. That was almost two minutes of gliding right there. And it exploded. <laughs> Well, there you have it, guys. I wanted to make myself a glider bomb, so I did. Turns out it is not accurate at all, but it is a lot of fun to use. I definitely recommend you guys should try this out and try and make your own, like, gliding bomb. Maybe you guys can actually make it navigate or stay in a very linear path. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see me make some more cool and wacky creations, definitely leave your suggestion down below. Leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.